Hello, my name's Rashra Alami and I'm based at Imperial College in London and it's my absolute pleasure to present here today from EuroPCR 2025. I'm joined by two friends and colleagues, Thomas Cuisse from Marseille and Nieves Gonzalo from Madrid, the course directors of EuroPCR. And firstly, I want to say what a fantastic meeting it's been. Uh, we have run around, we have seen so many fantastic cases, so many fantastic trials. It's had an energy, every room is full and I see people sitting on the floor. So we'd like to start by asking you, Tom, if you could tell me what have been your highlights after all the hard work, what do you remember? I think within the coronary field, uh, the fil rouge of this 2025 edition was to share solution for complexity. And in the coronary field, the clear complex solution is the, the calcified lesion. And we've seen beautiful life cases using different dedicated device, which have been also discussed during the learning session. And beyond those practical sessions, we also had important outlines, which have compared the different dedicated device and which will definitely provide important information for the community. And Nieves, your highlights? Well, also in this line of uh, trying to make complex things simpler, I think uh, we need to highlight the role of uh, the use of imaging in, in different modalities, not only intraconary imaging, but also CT. I think we have seen a lot of uh, interesting life cases where intraconary imaging has been used to understand the, les the lesions and provide you know, an optimized treatment. But also we have seen how CT can you know, be used for that, for planning procedures. This is gonna be a growing field where I think interventional cardiologists, we need to take a leading role. So this has been very interesting. Apart from that, we see a growing interest in the community you know, to learn more about imaging now that we understand that this can benefit our patients. So all the hands-on sessions you know, to learn how to use imaging in your practice have been fully packed. So we're really happy about that. Yeah, it really feels like this time we've moved on. We used to go to conferences and we spend a lot of time talking about should we use imaging? And it felt like in this Euro PCR we were talking not about should we, it was taken as granted that we should be using imaging, but more how we use it. And most importantly, Tom, it seemed that there was even a focus on complex patients uh, beyond just what's happening within the cath lab, but also the kind of patients that we might see and how we might practically apply it. Did you find any highlights there? Yes, Hasha, we, we discussed about the complex anatomy with the calcified lesion, but we have also complex patient and complex clinical situation. And I think one has been really highlighted during this 2025 edition. It's a difficult situation when you have a TAVI candidate with complex coronary artery disease. And we don't really know whether we have to do it or not, and when, and how to assess that. So it was part of the opening life case from Toulouse when we have a TAVI candidate with distal left main. And I think we really address this complex, uh, this complex situation. And beyond this life case, we also had as part of the top three late breaking trial of this edition, the face TAVI trial uh, led by Flavio Ribichini, which has compared angio-guided or physiology-guided PCI in TAVI candidate with complex coronary artery disease. Nervous, you and I are physiology enthusiasts. <laughs> we were on that bandwagon early. It has been fantastic at PCR to see so much physiology. Any highlights there? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, that uh, physiology has you know, had a very important role in the submissions. We received really a lot of very interesting uh, evidence uh, using physiology in different modalities, because I think this is also the interesting part. So physiology is not no longer only wire-based, but also all the non-wire-based modalities, angio-based, CT-derived, and also the way we use physiology. You know, that has changed from treating yes or no to really helping us, again, to understand the complexity of what we're treating, if it's diffuse, if it's focal, and how can we tackle that? I feel like the whole of this PCR has been incredibly practical and focused at the physicians and everyone who's sitting in the room. But I'm gonna bring some personal highlights. It's the 20th anniversary of your intervention. Nervous you and I, it's dear to our hearts. I kind of want to wish happy birthday to your intervention. Maybe you could speak to how it is to be deputy editor there and kind of your role. Yeah, first of all, uh, congratulations to all the team in your intervention. For me, it's really a pleasure. It, it was a pleasure working with this, uh, with this team of uh, deputy editors and all the editorial team of, of your intervention. It's, it's hard work, but it's teamwork. So uh, I'm, really, I'm really glad to see the evolution that the journal has had in the, in the last years that is going to continue, I'm sure of that. So happy birthday. I mean, happy birthday, <laughs> but importantly, I think it's important for us to thank you 
this conference doesn't come about with you know a quick planning a week before you have been planning this for many 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 months and it shows and so from behalf of me and all of the delegates thank you very much to the course directors and the planners of EuroPCR for just a fantastic conference and thanks to you thank you thank you for thank all you. your hard work thank you